I've just been sent these pivot head glasses to review. They're uh, 1080p video glasses. Been interested in these since I saw uh, M13 wearing a pair and the quality seemed pretty good. Personally, on first impressions, this particular model is the Aurora Shale. They look a little bit chunky. A couple of my friends have tried them on and uh, they range from looking like Stevie Wonder to actually looking quite cool. I think they're more designed for things like snowboarding though as opposed to maybe wearing them on a, on a motorbike. But they're really well packaged, they look very well made, quite sturdy. It's got an 8GB internal memory card and an internal battery as well. And if you want to get the footage off the memory card, there's a small USB socket just there and it plugs into the computer and you can just drag the file straight off the memory card from there. Very easy to use, I didn't actually read the instructions on these things. I just assumed that you press a button to turn them on. You can see there's a blue light on there. And also if you are stuck at any time, if you look in here, you can see that there's some really good information there showing you what settings that you can use it on etc. And it's quite handy because you carry the case with you so you've got the instructions with you. It's a good, good uh, Good afterthought there. So this particular model is the Aurora Shale. When you start recording you simply press that top button there and they're recording. What I'll do is I'll turn them around. There you go. Hello. To start recording you press it again. If you want to take a photograph you press backwards and it takes a photograph. Right then, let's give these a try. I've actually found some sunny weather, so let's turn these on. Press and hold that button at the bottom. And it gives me the uh, ready to go. And then press record. And there you go, it's flashing red recording. Let's pop these babies on. Oh, bloody hell, they're a bit, uh, a bit hard to get on, very, very stiff on my temples. Wow, that feels reasonably uncomfortable to be honest. I wonder if to do some, some thinner arms. The lenses are nice. Even though they're dark, they're very true if you know what I mean, if you've, if you've worn like quality glasses, the lenses are very very true, everything's crisp and clear which is nice. I'm going to be changing between the two pictures as well. I've got the old 1080 drift on at the moment because my ghost has had to go back, it's been regularly freezing. So they told me to send it back and I'll have a look at it as action cameras usually does, bless them. Yeah, they're hurting my temples a little bit but maybe it's because my helmet's reasonably tight, I don't know. You can only assume it's recording. A couple of times in the last day or so I've been only getting 20 minutes out of the battery. Well I thought it was the battery. So I was looking at the memory card, it's supposed to be an 8 gig memory card. Oh come on somebody, make a decision. <laughs> it's supposed to be an 8 gig memory card, um, which should give me at least possibly about an hour, two hours, something like that. And it's been switching off after 20 minutes. So when I had a look at it on the computer, says that it is supposed to be 8 gig and it was full, yet I've only got 2 gigs worth of video on it. So I've formatted the internal memory card and it seems to be okay now. So I left the camera recording, or the glasses recording, and they gave me about an hour on the battery life. So I think that the battery would go before the memory card does. I'm also trying to keep my head still because it's quite tempting just to look in your mirrors and then look around you and even though my eyes can actually see everything okay 
I'm not sure the glasses can keep up with me. It'd be interesting to check the field of view there as well because I'm about 30 feet behind this van and I'll compare it to the wide angle lens of the drift as well. There's no external microphone that we can plug into these glasses, they're just built into the glasses. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like at speed. I'm getting a bit of a headache if I'm being honest. The arms are that thick, it's pressing into my temples, it's very uncomfortable. I'm beginning to wonder if these are just going to be more suitable for people that do snowboarding or whatever. I'm not sure they're designed to go underneath helmets. Okay, this is the speed test with the visor down and then the visor up and the visor back down again. Oh well, I'll keep the visor down then, see if I can. Okay, so what I like about these, I like the fact that they're a gadget camera. It's a really uh, pretty decent idea in general. What I don't like about them is the price, for 250 quid. If these are 100 pound glasses, then yeah, I'd probably buy a pair. I don't like the fact they've only got an 8 gig memory. I don't like the fact it's only got a one hour battery life. I don't like the fact that you need to plug it into your laptop to see anything. I don't like the fact that I look like Roy Orbison when I'm wearing them. If they were free, I'd be very happy. But they're not, so I'm not. So pivot head, great idea. And even now in the sunshine, everything's crystal clear through the glass lens. But that could just be any pair of sunglasses. Uh, pivot head, you need to make some slimmer glasses for bike helmets, you need to make the memory a little bit a bit more, at least 16 gig, and you need to make the battery a little bit better, or maybe have a slot for an external memory card, and possibly an external battery as well. There you go.